But how do I do that? Soccer Toa. What does that even mean? Soccer Toa. Wrong, wrong. What am I doing wrong? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Price, and I'm back with another video. For today's video, I am going to be retaking my maths GCSE. So I'm taking the actual paper that I took two years ago. I'm doing the actual paper, like the actual paper I did. From what I remember, I did the Edexcel IGCSE maths higher paper something along those lines and i had two papers actually i think i found footage of me the morning of doing that exam 7 14 and i'm going through it crisis i have my master's gcse in like an hour and you girl knows nothing let's just say i've accepted it i've accepted it plain and simple accepted it what happens will happen <sighs> And I'm also doing this video because I know many of you will be receiving your results in like a couple of days You didn't even take an exam so I don't have anything to say about that But I'm retaking the paper for the exam that I did Also let me just say I got a 9 in math overall So hopefully like something from that is still there like some memory I think I can use a calculator but I'm gonna try and only use it once So this will be interesting So without further ado let's get into the video Okay the first question the table shows information about the weights in kilogram or 40 parts write down the modal class i think modal i always remember this is mo so that's most common so 1a i'm gonna put that as zero symbol p zero no zero symbol p symbol one because it's 19 so that has the frequency is the number right right so modal will be the most common one so that's going to be the first one okay i got one right let's give me a tick now b work out an estimate for the mean weight of the parcels Okay, I think the mean is when you add all of it up and then divide it by how many there are. But how do I do that? Mean, come on, mean. 19, 12, 5. I don't think that's how it is. Mean? Oh, kilograms of the kilograms. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we're going to put the middle number in between. 0 0.5, 1.5. You know what? I use the calculator for this exam. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 2. On top, 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 4, 12. So that's 12.5. This is wrong. Wrong, wrong. What am I doing wrong? 19 plus 12, okay, 5, 2, 2, 9, 9, 21, 21 plus 19, 30. 30. 30 divided by 12.5, is that what we're doing here? Where's the calculator? 30 divided by 12.5, 2.4. That's wrong, but I mean, I don't care. We move on. I got my, I got, I got my grade. I don't need this anymore. 56 divided by 40. Excuse me. The answer was 1.4. I got 2.429. Something's not adding up here. You know what? Ah, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see the problem. I see. Okay, I don't get that. Question two. There are some people in a cinema. Three-fifths of the people in the cinema are children. For the children in the cinema, number of girls ratio, number of boys equals two to seven. There are 170 girls in the cinema. Work out the number of adults in the cinema. But the adults aren't even mentioned before. So why are you mentioning them now? I wasn't good at maths. I just worked hard for it. Hard work pays off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so three-fifths of the people in the cinema are... Okay, you need to read, read carefully. So if three-fifths are children, that means two-fifths are adults. You know what? I was probably in that exam hall and thought, oh, look at me, you spotted that. Anyways, number of girls, number of boys. Ratio is two to seven. Two to seven. Two to seven. Okay, G, B, there are 170 girls. So that means to get from two to 170, you have to times that by 85, if my calculations are correct. So we have to times the seven by 85 to get how many boys there are. Lord, I'm praying this is right because 595. I'm hoping that's all right. Okay, okay. Then we add 595 plus 170. 
equals seven nine six five. You know what? I remember me doing this exam and probably tapping that calculator really loudly, like, oh yeah, I've got this. I know what's happening. Seven six five. That's how many children are there. Seven six five, and that's equal to three quarters of how many people are in the cinema. That means to get one fifth, we divide that by five equals one five three times two to get two fifths times, and that makes there are three hundred and six adults in the cinema if that's not correct then please i'm not having that answer i got was 306 adults the answer they got was 510 did i miss something or what what do you mean 510 on to the next question these are simplified questions oh i love these ones okay 3a simplify y5 times y9 i think when it's times you add so that's y14 i'm gonna go with that y14 B, simplify 3 bracket 2M3 times 4. Because the bracket's there, so that makes it a times, you get me? But do I times the 4 by the 2M? Hmm. This isn't even times, that's squaring. Okay. 2 times 2 is 4. That's 1. 2 times... No. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16 i'm hoping that's right so 16 is 2 but that's not squared though is that squared that's quadruple so that's 16 m 3 times 4 is 12 so 16 m 12 is my final answer for that one so c algebraic equations 5 5 x plus 3 equals 3 x minus 4 show clear algebraic working They just want me to find x, so I'll find you x. The bracket's always times. So 5x plus 15 equals 3x minus 4. We carry it over, and then that changes the number. So that means it's 5x minus 3x equals minus 4 minus 15 you know what if anyone needs tutoring come my way minus 4 minus 15 equals minus 19 minus 19 that means then then x is equal to minus 19 over 2 which equals minus 8 wait is that right because if you divide a minus it should still be a minus i don't remember them telling me different so i'm gonna give x is equal to minus eight am i correct they got minus nine over two i got you know what i did get that but i took it down further to minus eight well, i'm gonna give myself that mark i don't know what you're talking about this is di x squared plus 2x minus 24 factorize factorize unfortunately i don't think i could do that i don't know what factorize means <laughs> no i don't think i could do that okay i don't know what factorize means i'm so sorry but i think we're gonna have to miss these three marks out hence solve x squared plus no i didn't get this back then and i don't get it now moving on okay next one <sighs> <laughs> if there's one thing i learned before walking into that exam that is set to be more specific the venn diagram aspect of it i never got that and i still don't okay write down the numbers that are in set a oh that's simple six one three four two twelve okay next b u c is that mean b except c or b and c b u c you know what I had such a good math teacher as well, and then he left. He was one of the best. He was just such a nice teacher. He was amazing. But I don't remember how to do this, so I can't do that either. Is that another two marks gone? This literally sounds like gibberish to me. Okay, next question. Brian writes down the statement A, A symbol C equals something. Is Brian's statement correct? Well, why don't you ask Brian? Oh, I'm missing this one out too. One of the numbers in the Venn diagrams is picked at random. Find the probability of the number in set C. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, 5A, 8 times 4, 8 times 10 squared. This isn't squared, but I'm just going to say squared because the numbers are 4. So whatever number that is, as an ordinary number, 10 times 10, 100. 100 times another 10, adds two zeros. Oh, 
hundred times ten. I will add one zero, so that's a thousand. One thousand times ten is ten thousand. Also, the number is eighty thousand. That should be right. If I if it's not right, then I don't know how I got the grade I did. Okay, three point five times. Oh, forget it. I'm moving on. <sighs> Do you see this triangle? It's actually a triangle inside a circle. Work out the circumference of the circle. There are multiple equations that I know you need to use this and I unfortunately cannot tell you one single one. This is so humiliating! Circumference, pi r. Pi r, is that right? Pi r? Pi r squared is the area. <laughs> pi r squared, that's the area. So is circumference pi r? Okay, let's just say it's pi r. And then, oh, I see what they're doing here. You have to calculate the other side of that triangle because there's like two that they've given to you. How do you calculate that? 9.7 plus 3.5, no. I actually don't know it. How do you calculate the side of a triangle? There were three different things. There was like, there was like, oh my goodness. Sam? No. You know where it's like R equals? No. Sokotawa! <laughs> Sokotawa! I know that! Sokoto! Ah, oh, there we go. Sokotawa. We need to figure out which one I actually need to use. So what does it... I don't know, I just don't know. I don't know which one you need to use for this. Sokotoa. What does that even mean? Sokotoa. The S means something. <gasps> Hypotenuse. 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 It still means nothing to me. Okay, moving on to the next question since I can't do that one. Seven. Chow bought a boat for 160,000 Hong Kong dollars. The value of the boat depreciates 4% each year. Work out the value. I <laughs> I can't keep saying I can't do it, but realistically, I cannot do it. I'm so sorry. I just can't. Okay, let's sit up and let's get this right. 4% each year. So we're going to do 160,000 times 3? No. Times 4? There was an equation for this one too. There was an equation, I know there was. Oh my God, wow. You know, now that I look at it, this paper was hard because what in the world are they giving me diagram after diagram for? Let me just go through the answers. I got through seven and I'm not doing this anymore because I can't do any of them and if no one's going to help me, then I'm not doing it. Okay, the answer to question. Guys, I'm really bad at this. I really am. A few moments later. So I'm just gonna say I got what like six out of ten. That's not bad. I answered I know that's wrong. I have six ticks on that page, so I'm just gonna say I got six out of twelve to make myself feel better. So yeah, that has been it. That was not easy in any way, shape, or form. I don't know how I did that two years ago. I really don't. Everything seems like gibberish to me now, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. For those of you who have your GCSE results coming out in a couple of days, I wish you all the best because, yeah. That has been it for this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment down below any videos you'd like to see from me. Give it a like. For now, it's been your girl, Praise, and I will see you next week with another video. Goodbye! Go, 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 shorty. It's your birthday. We gonna party like it's your birthday.